The gap between drawing board and the time before a new plane is certified to fly has always been considerable. Now with the help of computers like these in the computer graphics lab at NASA's Ames Research Center, this gap may be shortened. The computers, some capable of three-dimensional visual displays, are available to help researchers deal with a wide range of problems before going to the expense of building a plane or even a wind tunnel model. What we're looking at here is the ability to actually view real objects, that is three-dimensional objects and scenes, the way they would normally appear to you if you were looking actually out of a window, say. The operator sitting at the console is able to control through the uh, pencil-like device he has in his hand the viewing parameters on how he would like to view the scene. And as you can see, by he can actually change his viewing angle by moving the uh, pencil-like device on the uh, data tablet to, say, go above the scene and look down on the airplanes, or going down where he's looking up at the aircraft, or in fact actually rotating his uh, chase plane, if you will, around the aircraft in formation. This is only a demonstration program of the capabilities of the hardware, but it is a great aid in uh, enabling the investigators, the research scientists here at Ames, better understand some of their problems when they're three-dimensional in nature. Air trailing over the wings of planes in flight, especially large planes, forms tornado-like patterns called vortices. Because the FAA requires minimum separation distances between aircraft, the vortices do not present a danger. They do, however, limit the number of airplanes that can take off and land within a given time. The problem is one that researchers would like to eliminate, and it can be studied using the computers. We see a 747 flying away from us. The researcher has positioned some uh, vortexes at the various places that they are created in an aircraft. Notice the flaps, the uh, ends of the wings. He would like to see how these uh, surfaces, or the uh, vortexes, interrelate with one another as the plane moves away. You can see the vor uh, vortices on the back wings were uh, move clear down underneath the airplane. It is hoped that doing this computationally will save wind tunnel test time to determine what modifications might be made on the wing, the flaps, the engines, so forth, to minimize the turbulent flow that uh, results behind the aircraft. Researchers are also using computer graphics to study how life might evolve on another planet, such as Mars. Here, a molecule described in three dimensions. It's only through the use of uh, these three-dimensional displays could the researcher have any idea at all on how these complex shapes interrelate how they might have connected in years gone by. And uh, through this mechanism, we hope he'll have a better understanding of some of the uh, life-building processes that went on millions of years ago. <laughs>